morning. These days are starting colder and colder. Um, no Andy or him yet, I don't know what's happening. I thought we were taking cattle first thing, but maybe I've got um, stuff wrong here and uh, I've come in a bit too early, but if so, I'll just get cracking. I've got it wrong. The cows aren't going until this afternoon. So um, that's why nobody's here and I'm on my own. Uh, anyway, I need to come early, a bit early, because um, I'm doing HDB to, uh, later on, so I need to get to Ollie's, um, so I'm finishing early. Everyone's sounding hungry. Um, I've got a water pipe to uh, to sort out this morning, but we better get on with uh, doing a mix and then checking the water for all the cows. So I'm just feeding these guys. Just look, they have got water in the trough, but it's just running really slowly. Obviously it's not full to the top, but there's plenty there because they can drink it down to the bottom. Back to basics, I'll take the fitting to pieces in case like when Andy and Emma put it together, there's like a piece of straw gone in there or something, and then block the nozzle up. And yeah, just take it from there. Then I'll end up having to pop into the roof and check all fittings to make sure none of them are blocked up. Andy's here now, he's just cutting the bands on the bells. Morning Andy. On about it's like a steam engine. I think he must be doing a DPF uh, regen. It blasts all the white smoke out. Dad's finally come out anyway, so I've changed jobs. I'm going to get on the nine meter, but first we need to put some molasses in the mixer so we can get this feed made. So I'm on the nine meter now, so we'll drop these pallet tines on that I was using last night to uh, to take the water around. Get the bucket on. Start filling the mixer up. So that's the last bit of meal tipped out. Make sure it's empty. I'll do. A bit of hay is going down now. I can see this turning into a new cattle shed soon. We get the whole lem out. So I'm just filling that mixer up now. Just put one and a half tons of fodder meat in. Or fodder meat full. And he's still about. There Andy is blowing the straw in. Looking nice that barley straw. Look at the pigeons on the roof. A white one. Right, I'm gonna finish off the rest of this mix. Because we've got a load of molasses turning up in a bit. This is delivery guys always get a bit worried if there's a little if there's some left in the tank. It can hold like um I think it's like a lorry load and third or something like that or maybe a lorry load and half but it always gets them a bit jittery so we'll, we'll get a little bit out a few of them have had experience where they turn up at a farm fill it with molasses sort it underneath the tank and poof it goes uh, goes over the top and covers them and if you're living in a lorry for a week and you're covered in molasses i can't imagine it's very nice sticky substance it's coffee time right, so i'm gonna go and fill the lorry up now with diesel we'll see how expensive that's going to be so i'll get off in the scania and then i think we're going to repair this get it all ticked off and uh, job done with it still high price of diesel isn't it 186.9 see how this goes then we stood here a long time i'm sure no signs are going down does it price of this fuel uh, a few people have said to us in the past, get a fuel card, get a fuel card, but we have done that before. Um, we've had one and then the pipping. Uh, it was cheaper at this gas station. Gas station? I sound American now, doesn't it? It was cheaper here than, uh, than it was on the card, so we just kept coming here and forgot the card. Well, it's still going up. It's going to bet that 500, I think. There we go, look, it's full is as well people that work behind counter here are just fantastic like local people and they always help us out like when it's been fuel crisis before they've um ran out of fuel but then we've pulled in and they've given us some fuel like because they're like oh we're saving it for for regulars and what have you so um yeah that goes a long way so quite happy to keep coming here unless somebody can save me like five pence 
Elite, then I'll change and I'll still come here, but I'll use a card. But um, yeah, things like that mean uh, mean a lot to local businesses like us. So thanks to them guys behind the uh, behind the counter there. Right, we'll have a look at getting this backed in shed and stripping this bumper off and see what we can do. I'm hoping I've got the right tools to do it because I'm sure there'll be some like star bits and stuff like that, which will be lovely. Before I start that job though, I'm going to strip that watch off and see what we can uh, what we can see with that. So this is the problem we've got here. We've got some um, sediment that was probably trapped around the pipe and then when I'm under here and then we've been shaking it, it'll come loose and it bungs up this little valve here. Or spout or whatever you want to call it. That's what it should look like. Andy's found the tube that Em was looking at as well. Must be some kind of like to stop it. <laughs> Stop it getting damaged. Right, so we'll, uh, we're just looking at the new piece. Looks like we've got some bits that hold it on there, one under the step somewhere, and then one underneath. So we'll get all them off. Hopefully it comes off nice and easy and put the new, uh, new piece on. So then it's fixed. Okay, so we're having a bit of trouble here. Um, bump obviously has been in the road salt and stuff like that. It's got copper grease on the... Uh, on the nuts, but it's just not coming off, so I'm going to drill one of them out. We'll have to put another bolt in there. Um, it's turning into more of a job than I expected. Honestly, going to lose my eye with this. Uh, Andy can film it actually. Come on, Joe. Where's your power? Ah! Hey! Look at that, man. Oh, the aggression. So, this is a little piece of crap that. Um, that was causing all the trouble. Anyway, it's loose now. So now Andy's gonna pump up the cab. Probably put this on time lapse actually. So that's what it looks like now. We get the bumper back on. I think we leave the step. We've got T and J Ollie in the yard today. So they're from up like Ollie's way. They go up to. Uh, Agri contract, Tolly Vlogs. Today they're here, and I'm going up to his. Mm, nice wagons. Well, we've got it going on the bumper now. Light to put back on, and then we should be all right. So that's it. It's back on now. Finally. Um, steps still to do, but it's looking like that's a a bigger job. If anybody knows how to get them Scania steps off, then please let us know. Because um, it's uh, it's not easy, it's not simple. Hey, it's got late now, so we're going to get our dinner. It's about time. It's dinner now? We got it sorted, Andy? Not so. Yeah, I think. Gotta load these cattle up, that's all. New seat. It's just a bit cold, isn't it, Andy? Slippery, Joe. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I fell off it. <laughs> I can't believe you, you've dinted it. <laughs> eh? Hey? It's already dinted. You called us something, Em? I'm not bad anymore. You're not bad. Yeah, if you get wrapped up before you're even you don't get cold. Oh, yeah. Eskimo. <laughs> so we're just checking the numbers of these and then these guys are going. Over the next couple of days, anyway. What we got here now, Em? Bali. AJ did it. No, jewelry, sorry. So we're having to shift tractors out of the shed so we can get this lorry tipped off, get the barley off. Yeah, I feel like I'm at Holly Bloggs' already. It's weird. Jump leads are required, that's why. I mean, six, nine won't start, will it? I always, that's, that's my favorite thing to say to Ollie. Oh, does it need a jump start? Well, now with six, nine does need a jump start. So it's not starting, uh, we're gonna have to leave it running for a little bit. This is awkward. But we're doing it uh, old school way. We're pulling it with a chain. Oh. The thing is, you don't have power steering, so it's very hard to steer. Very hard. Right, I'm gonna concentrate on doing this. So Andy's got me outside now. I think we're about about to safety. I'm 
stop there. Just tipping the barley off there. I'm going to head off um, up to Ollie's now for the AHDB thing. If people want to tune into that, it's at 8 o'clock tonight. Andy and I are going to get all the feeding done on that. See you, Andy. So bye for now. And um, yeah, so if the video's ended here, it's because um, I've been, uh, yeah, yeah, I've not had time to do anything up at Ollie's and I'll just upload it as it is now. So um, thanks for watching. Press like. If, uh, if you've liked it and um, you guys aren't subscribed, if you want to hit that subscribe button, it really help us out. I'll get, to, I'll get off on my uh, little road trip. My car won't know what's happened to it going so far. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Another lorry in the yard now. Hewicks are here with a load of traf no, Trafford Gold. Molasses, we've already had Trafford Gold. That's a tip there. Load of barley. Three loads today.